Hello, my name is Jay Hilliard and I'm a plan counselor with Friends Life Care. We thought it would be helpful to uh, create this short video to help explain what Medicare actually covers and how it pertains to skilled care and custodial care. With Medicare, the Medicare benefit covers 100 days of skilled care, almost always in a skilled facility but only if you're in the hospital three days or longer. You have to meet that criteria to uh, receive the Medicare benefit after a hospital stay. If you are in the hospital three days with a medical problem and you're released from the hospital, Medicare will pay from day zero to day 20, 100% Medicare. After 20 days, Everyone is reevaluated, and what they're looking for is called signs of improvement. Are you getting better? The best way to explain something like this might be with an example. Let's say someone breaks their hip and they go into the hospital. If they're in that hospital three days or longer and they get released from the hospital, they're going to need skilled care, physical therapy for that broken hip. Medicare will pay for that for the first 20 days. Day 21 comes. Chances are they haven't recovered completely from the broken hip in just 20 days. They're gonna to continue to need care after 20 days. They are showing signs of improvement. They are uh, advancing the way they should be. So Medicare will continue to pay from day 21 up to day 100. It's no longer 100% Medicare. There's a copay that Medicare doesn't pay during that period of time that is picked up by the person's Medicare supplement. But after 100 days, everyone pays out of their pocket. Let's take a second example. Something like a stroke, a heart attack, a car accident. Those severe conditions, someone might be in the hospital much longer than three days, but as long as they're in the hospital three days, Medicare is paying for that hospital stay. They get released from the hospital. Medicare pays um, for, uh, up to day 20. After 20 days, they are looked at for those signs of improvement. There's another section of Medicare at this point that comes into play. Not only is it the signs of improvement, but it is, are you ever going to be what you were before? People, what they call plateau, where they get to a certain level, they're always going to have the residuals from that issue. But in the eyes of Medicare, that care from that point on is no longer called skilled care. It is called custodial or convalescing care. That is the key terminology to understanding long-term care protection. Medicare pays zero dollars for custodial care. So someone could plateau on day 21, 28, 45, 52. Whenever Medicare determines that you have plateaued, your Medicare benefit stops and your supplement stops. One more example, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's where there are conditions that are gradual in the way they develop. Many times when there's a gradual decline, people don't go to the hospital for three days. They just get to the point where they need care. In that scenario, they would be deemed custodial because they didn't meet the criteria of three days in the hospital on day one. Wherever someone reaches the point of being custodial, that's the point where people need some type of long-term care protection unless they are willing to pay for it out of their own pop pocket. When people realize this, they look at a plan, something like the Friends Life Care Plan. That's one way to provide not only the availability of excellent care coordination, the availability of care right in your home, but also financial benefit that not only can be used to pay for assisted living, nursing home, or staying at home. Our plan, the Friends Life Care Plan, was really designed to help people, help people stay in their home. 
even though they can use the financial benefit for assisted living or nursing home, most of our members want to stay at home. And they have this plan in place that can not only help pay financially for those things, but gives them the peace of mind of staying at home. I hope this video helped for people to understand what Medicare pays for and understanding the very limited benefit that Medicare has for long-term care and having maybe a plan like the Friends Life Care plan in place to give you the peace of mind of knowing where you're going to get your care from and help financially paying for it. Thank you very much for your time.